Streets are empty, stores remain closed, and the government has called on people to stay home to reduce the spread of coronavirus. Chinese people are now living a life that's increasingly reliant on tech. Here are five ways life has changed since the outbreak. Since the end of the Chinese New Year holiday, millions of people in the country have begun working from home. Video conference providers like Alibaba's DingTalk and Tencent's WeChat work were overwhelmed by surges in traffic. And the remote work policy created an unexpected opportunity for smart work platforms to acquire new users, with Alibaba-owned DingTalk and ByteDance-owned Lark seeing downloads increase over 350% in a week. Classes have gone online as well. Due to the suspension of the new semester, teachers are encouraged to live stream their lessons. According to DingTalk, over 5 million students are now studying on the app. Other online education companies have also offered free classes during the epidemic. Checking coronavirus-related news has become a daily routine for Chinese netizens. Due to the high volume of information across social media, tech companies have deployed fact-checking resources. Tencent launched Jiaozhen, which works with professionals on fact-checking, while Twitter-like platform Weibo and news aggregator Toutiao have also worked on debunking fake news. Platforms for virus tracking have also been created, including ones that allow users to see if they've traveled with infected passengers, as well as ones which show communities that have reported infections. CCTV broadcasts the construction of two new hospitals in Wuhan, the epicenter of the virus outbreak. The live stream generated 50 million viewers at its peak. Audiences could follow a bird's eye view of the construction site, and fan groups have even been started for some of the construction vehicles. With many public places closed or operating in a reduced capacity, gaming has become an important way for people to escape boredom. The surfers for Game for Peace, a localized version of PUBG Mobile, initially became overwhelmed. Users had trouble logging on and joining matches, though Tencent later announced they would increase server capacity. Another Tencent hit, Honor of Kings, made roughly $286 million a day for the past two weeks. Plague Inc., an eight-year-old strategy game, went viral again. According to App Annie, it became the top paid app for iOS in China. In a rather morbid twist, the player's objective is actually to infect the entire world with a deadly virus. Short video apps have been another form of both entertainment and information during the outbreak. Users from within Wuhan shared videos letting the outside world know what's happening in their city on popular apps Douyin and Kuaishou. While there have also been videos showing how people have been trying to have fun and make the best of their situation. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you're interested in learning more about China's tech scene, visit creatia.com using the link in the description below.